directing. No leader should assume issuing instructions will accomplish the goal. There must always be a way for the organization's members to be directed. The traditional model calls for a boss who tells the staff what to do and engages in activities that assure the staff does the job. Some leaders will do this themselves. In other cases, they will have associates who do it for them. In the self-directed model, the staff or the unit will assume responsibility to direct their own activities. For many years, management theories have suggested that self-directed teams are even more effective than the one boss model. Indeed, it is clear if the team members are sufficiently motivated and disciplined to self-direct, then that approach will be remarkably effective and efficient, as well as satisfying for the staff. If the team does not come together, or if members do not have the commitment to achieve results, then that process will not be effective. Whatever model for direction used, there must be some means by which the leader can track the staff's ability to stay focused on the results required. Simply assigning tasks and walking away will eventually lead to inadequate performance. 